time for me to do an update on the fleece processing, so the border luster and the Romney. So as you probably have seen if you watched my Tour de Fleece videos, I've spun a lot, both of them at this point. So right now I have, let me just reach over and grab these, about two thirds <laughs> of the border luster spun. This is a lot of yarn. Um, I should have added this up before I started filming this, but it is well over a thousand yards at this point. I think we're at about 1400 finished two ply for the border lester. My favorite is this one because it's the electric green with the sea foam. Anyway, those are coming out really nice. Um, the last third of the border lester, I am using a dog comb and I'm just taking a handful this is what's left taking a little handful and I'll line up all the the tips and I'm just combing them out a little bit to fluff them up and then that also gets rid of a lot of the vegetable matter and whatever and then this way I can spin what's left into a much finer yarn because I want to use this mostly for warp when I'm weaving. And that, that works better with a finer even yarn for my purposes. I mean, I could use a textured one or a thicker one. I have the right heddles for it. I just, I want a fairly fine drapey fabric. So that's what I'm working on right now. And this takes a minute, so it's, I'm taking my time with it, going through, getting it combed, spinning what's left. So it'll probably be about four bobbins full to finish it off, if I had to guess, maybe a little more. So yeah, once it's really fluffy, <laughs> then I just put it in a different pile and it's ready to spin. So that's what I'm working on with that. And I do just use a dog comb for this, I like the ones that are stainless steel, teeth are all the same length, plastic handle so it's not overly heavy. You can get these all over the place, it's not like it's a specialized fiber tool. You can buy wool combs of course, I don't own any right now because, um, well I used to own some, I was constantly nicking my, my knuckles. This is a lot less dangerous for me. Obviously, obviously most people don't have that issue. They were just really heavy for me, so I would miss a lot and end up hitting my hands. So, switched to dog combs. It works a lot better for me personally. Now, as for what I have left for the Romney, I'm still just working on spinning that up. Um, let me grab what I have spun so far. So this one is more than 500 yards of three ply Romney. I can already tell this is going to make a wonderful something. I don't know what yet. It's going to cable really well, so I might do something with cabling. I might not. But it has a nice texture. It's not overly rough or anything. It's a nice medium type of wool. And then I also did a two-ply sample just to see how I liked for it. It does have some drape. It's much, much lighter. Uh... I might do more two-ply for weaving, but it depends on how much yardage I get from the three-ply, because I do want enough three-ply to make a fairly large project. And I also did these. So this one is two plies in the Romney, one ply merino. Let's see if you can see that. And this one did come out pretty nice. So I like this. And this one is one ply Romney, one ply merino and one ply of a mohair merino blend and it has wonderful drape and as the more I work with it the more the <laughs> mohair fluffs up and gets a halo to it so it's going to have a really really cool look. I have no idea what I'm doing with it but I do like it quite a bit. Because it's going to behave so much differently than the normal Romney I probably won't use them together. One. I don't know. I feel like it would hold textured stitches pretty well, like 
cabling and such, but it's also gonna have more drape than just the Rami because of the mohair, but it also has a lot of merino, and the merino should hold cabling better than just the Romney. I guess I have to do some swatching. So anyway, I have about half the Romney left to spin, and of that half, I separated out the absolute softest, crimpiest parts. So most of the fleece that's left, I'm just gonna spin it just like I did the rest of it, but that little bag of four or six ounces or so of really crimpy soft part. I'm going to be carding on my drum carter and making something really fancy. I, I have some Angora I've been saving and I want to add that. So something very luxurious. I just don't know exactly what I'm going to do with it yet or what colors I'm aiming for. So that video will be posted in the same thing very soon. That's on my list of things I need to get done. But yeah, I mean, the project's going well. I'd say I'm at a little past the halfway mark. So I'll keep going, and when we get to the weaving part, we'll have some videos for that.